Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, we're going to be discussing wiring really quickly a KCD2 or a KCD4 switch. Now, there's multiple different names for these types of switches. These are the ones I use in my enclosure. They do have the LED that's backlit, and of course, they're labeled on the side of them. They have labels that'll indicate 2A on one side and then 2, and then on the opposite side, they've got 1A and 1. And of course, the switch ratings, just for those that want to know, they're rated to 250 volts at 15 amps or 125 volts at 20 amps, and those are AC ratings. Okay, so wiring these are really easy to do. Again, many of you may not know, but I do sell them wired or pre-wired, I should say, in my store. Uh, again, leads are already attached, and they are soldered, and of course, the leads are already tinned. Um, for those of you doing it yourself, very simple. You can see we've got two and 2B, okay? 2B is actually coming from the neutral on the AC side. So whether it's 220 or 110, 2B would be the neutral from the AC going into the switch, and number two is going to your load. So this white wire that's labeled number two would be going to your load. So once again, 2B is coming from the AC neutral, and two is going to your load. The opposite side of the switch, very simple. Once again, we have 1A, or I should say 1, not labeled A, but 1, and then we have 1B. Uh, 1 is going to your load, and 1B is the AC side power going into the switch. Okay, so once again, 1B, AC side power, whether it's 110 or 220 volt coming into the switch, and then 1, which again would be a red lead, at least in accordance to the way I've wired this one, you would be actually have the red lead going to your load, and, and the load is simply whatever you plan on uh, controlling with the switch. So again, I hope the video has been helpful. I hope you guys um, can use this. Uh, again, there are not many videos on switches, and that's why I really wanted to do it. It's very quick and easy to do. And again, you guys understand exactly where you're going with that. And as far as, um, just to give you a heads up, as far as actually connecting the leads, I solder these, and of course, heat shrink them. And you can see, when I tin the leads, I like to make sure that my leads are filled. I do not like having leads that have uh, the actual conductors that are visible. You can see that chrome finish, again, that the uh, Kester 186 leaves. It's really, really nice. And with that excess solder on there, when you go to connect these, you've already got a nice amount of solder on here. It will uh, emulsify again, and once it does that, it becomes molten. It'll make a nice contact on uh, wherever you're actually connecting this, or if you're connecting it directly, once again, uh, to the actual power supply you're set with the terminal. Again, this will be uh, a very strong lead. So again, I hope the video has been helpful. If you guys have any questions or require quotes, once again, please contact me at storm2313 at gmail.com or my e-dealer direct store. Uh, again, the links to both of these will be in the description. Thank you all for your support. Take care.